Another reboot I skipped and I really needed something good for once after Forsaken Gods. Or <coughs> for, for fuck's sake! The foreseeable plot of Doom is about the Doom guy waking up. Hell is going on a rampage, so you go on a rampage and give hell some hell. Dr. Samuel Hayden tells you that you need to fix stuff, so you go and kill demons along the way. There's also Olivia Pierce. She's in the game. So you run from one area to the next, kill all enemies, maybe explore the environment to find upgrades and get ready for the next battle, rinse and repeat. That's the basic gameplay of Doom, and since it already worked in the old days, why shouldn't it work here? Doom is pretty much all about finding secrets and most importantly, killing demons. For that, you have a total of 10 weapons, not including grenades. Each weapon has different properties and you'll likely find a use for every one of them. You can also upgrade each weapon with battle points and after finding a field drone, give them additional perks like a scope or releasing a damaging heat wave. The levels offer you many different paths to explore, though actual progression through the level is linear. Unlike the previous games, you have a very appreciated way marker to show you where you can go to continue, which will aid you in your attempts for exploration and progression. If that isn't enough, you have a map to further help you navigate through the level. There are 12 levels in the game, lasting somewhere from 10 minutes up to almost an hour to complete. And if that wasn't enough, you can also unlock classic maps by finding a secret area in each level. There are also Argent tanks with which you can upgrade your health, armor or ammo capacities, rune trials for additional perks like ammunition crates giving you more ammo and finally, you can find lore holograms and Doom Guy action figures, which unlock 3D models for you to watch. That sounds like a lot. But you are never forced to go for any of these, although doing so might allow you to skip entire areas. What? What? Are you kidding me? Uh, okay. Wait, wait. Can I skip the entire battle with this? This is a Bethesda title, so expect glitches as well as getting stuck in the walls time and time again due to wonky glory kills. A significant part of the game and THE new feature for Doom. They serve as a way for you to recover health and, with the chainsaw, ammunition. Doom has a big problem. Doom wants to be an old school arena shooter with high tense action in the spirit of the old games. So run through a level and kill everything while you explore for secrets. But at the same time, it would also like to innovate the genre. To understand what I mean, we need to make a few comparisons to older arena shooters like Doom 2 and compare it to this one. First, there aren't dozens of enemies on the screen, but instead the demons are stronger and take longer to kill. This way, difficulty is still determined by the amount of enemies, but it's not in the spirit of the first two games, as that was one of the best features. Second, corpses don't stay on the map because you don't need them for exploration purposes anymore. What the developers seem to have forgotten though is that immersion and atmosphere are still important, but more on that later. Third, the speed of the combat is, while still being very fast paced for modern FPS games, much slower in comparison to the older games. In return, you have expanded combat arenas. Fourth, only because this genre of FPS games is called arena shooter doesn't mean you have to literally make each combat scenario a fucking arena. Fifth, Doom 2016 only has three bosses and a disappointing variety in enemies. Sixth, there isn't enough weapon variety in this game. Both the pistol and the double barreled shotgun only have one upgrade tree each contrary to most other weapons that have two. Seventh, the battle points, which you need to upgrade your weapons, are unlocked by how quickly and how many enemies you kill. As you can see, the Doom reboot is very different, but if you see it as its own thing, then you'll see an arena shooter hybrid with elements of modern FPS games somewhat similar to the Shadow Warrior reboot. Doom's biggest problem, however, is an inconsistent focus on what it wants to be between the two, causing both to never work well with each other. All of these issues sadly extend to the level design. 
The levels are fun to travel through, but they always feel like they just connect the battle arenas and the fact that many levels and assets are constantly being reused doesn't help much either. So you will have to rely on upgrades or the map to properly explore. You can rotate the map on PC by holding the right mouse button. But the game never tells you, so it might feel like a clunky mess during your entire playthrough. Only go for the items that you can easily spot via different pathways and be assured, while I just gave this game a lot of shit, it's still a very good and most importantly, a fun game that focuses on quick, tense gameplay. Unless you start wondering about the story. Doom doesn't really know how to tell its story. At the beginning, the game clearly establishes that it doesn't even slightly care about it, but later, they actually include unskippable long cutscenes similar to Half-Life 2. More than that, the game puts emphasis on the very basic, foreseeable plot. This results in the early game of Doom, the late game of Doom, and Doom's focus on gameplay all biting each other. This could have easily been fixed by including a renegade system like a Mass Effect 2 so that the player can freely choose when to watch or not to watch the story. I think the story can be best enjoyed by looking at the protagonist as someone who doesn't understand the language of your choice. Sag mal, was lobt der hier oder was? Ey, was laberst du da? Jetzt lass mich einmal hier kaputt machen. Boom hier und boom hier. So, und jetzt, wo ist die Kaffeemaschine? The voice acting of Doom is very good, with only one exception. Olivia Pierce. I feel like her voice actress was given very little context for this character. She never sounds like she's in constant pain, as her law states. Olivia Pierce, as a whole, is so important that she could have been replaced by a system malfunction. Thus, she is just another pursue and kill antagonist. What isn't irrelevant is the awesome ambient music. Yes, ambient music, which changes depending on how you play the game, and it just feels great. On the other hand, the sound design seems sluggish at times. Speaking of sluggish, did you know this game was 68 gigabytes on PC? Thank you Bethesda for not converting crap and not offering separate downloads for your oh so important uncompressed 4K textures. Besides that, what you see are medium settings without motion blur or lens flares, recorded in 720p and upscaled to 1080p, so this is far away from being optimal. But thanks to the art design, it should hold up for quite a while. I'm not a big fan of certain aesthetics though. The demons look much more alien-y to me and they never captured that demonic feel that even Doom 3 had. I don't dislike their design, but I think the designers needed to sit down and refocus. Especially when you expect fucking hell to have something resembling atmosphere. And no! A few puddles of blood and a pounding heart don't count. The soundtrack is the only thing that gives off atmosphere, but without the proper visuals, it fails to be anything more than a good arena shooter. So yes, as I said multiple times by now, Doom is a good game with an identity crisis. It's a good game, but not a great one. I had tons of fun playing this game. But you can feel that the developers had issues trying to combine the old and the new, as seen with how many elements in this game clash with each other. I know I complained a lot during this review, but even with that, this is a very solid arena shooter for those who are sick of modern FPS action, and Doom delivers spectacular action for these people. However, don't expect a masterpiece or a non-stop action experience like in Doom 1 or Doom 2. Still, you should take a look. Sometimes you don't know if you're missing something until there's something to remind you that it was actually fun. Yes, there is multiplayer. No, I haven't taken a look at it. Because by the end of the single player campaign, I was bored of the core gameplay of Doom thanks to the flaws I mentioned before and I'm not willing to put another 20 or 30 hours into a, by now, monotonous experience. So my rating only applies for the single player campaign.